The Hood River Valley High School mural project I've been working on for the last nine months had a lot of surprises. And uh, a couple months ago, another one was when um, the Curate of Education for the Mary Hill Museum of Art, Sorica Meek Paul, invited us to exhibit the mural um, in their education center. And she worked very hard to get the signage perfect. Um, she's very handy with the tape measure and um, the hammer and uh, the, the installation went really smooth uh, thanks also to her husband Barry and the staff at Mary Hill. It was a very exciting moment to see the final sheet go up as I hadn't seen the mural in its entirety and I just it was it was a wonderful moment. This is the view from the hall where the mural hangs, and here are the opening remarks by Executive Director Colleen Shafroth. Until I retire at the end of the summer, and I am just delighted to welcome all of you here uh, because this mural is dear and near to my heart, actually. There's nothing I love better than seeing the artwork of students working with um, professional artists and getting all of these beautiful images and these beautiful colors up on the wall. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic, honestly. Um, it just makes my heart sing. <laughs> and I cannot tell you when uh, Sort first approached me about bringing this here, it was like, a, it, it was like an emphatic yes. Having something that is linked with education and something as stunning as this here, is a real treat for us to have at the museum. A lot of people are going to see this. We get people from the East Coast, the Midwest, Seattle, all over. We had people in here yesterday from the East Coast. They are stunned by the colors. And I think, honestly, Tammy, you were sort of the, um, the seed that started this whole thing. And you could say a few words, but it was your vision and um, the Racial Justice Institute that funded this, which was because of you, and then working with Michelle, the artist, and other people, and staff at Hoover Valley High School, students, and also affiliate groups. But I want to say to Michelle that, you know, you can have all sorts of ideas in the world, but I think that Michelle's vision and the way that she worked with color in this mural is really exceptional, really, really exceptional. I think if you are, uh, you could have a great vision, but if your color alone is not great, if you do not spend the time to just mix the colors, it, it does not have this, this feeling. So that's something that really an experienced artist understands and knows. So I think it was really a, a wonderful collaboration with a professional artist and everybody involved. So thank you so much. Tammy, would you say a few words? And as fellows with the Racial Justice Institute, and we were given a stipend to create an open and welcoming area for our students since I wanted to focus on Hood River Valley High School. And so Michelle and all the adults that you see up under project leaders, we did a cultural walk through the high school and talk to students, and then we started meeting with different student groups, student, you know, uh, black, indigenous students of color, and asking them, what is it about the high school that's missing an area that you feel warm and welcoming when you come to school every day? And the area that they chose was where they get dropped off if, because they take the bus every day, and that's the east side of the high school, and it was pretty, it's desolate. You could drive by there right now, and it looks a little bit dusty, Courtney knows. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a place where rappers get trapped, and so we started out with some flower containers. We have benches that have arrived, and then the big thing that the students wanted was a mural, and we made a very clear focus of having well, th these are all women, but women of color involved in the project. And so clearly the voice of our students through Michelle came out loud and clear. The interesting um, part of our experience is going through the Yakima Tribal Council to receive permission to use the images uh, uh, from our local area of the Columbia River tribes. 
and it is Gerald Lewis, who is the Tribal Council Chairman, who kept referring to the children of the river. He kept talking about his love of the children of the river in our area, and so we've honored that, um, his comment by naming our mirror. Thank you. First for me, it was a first for Tammy, it was a first for all the students, it was a first for my husband who said, you know, put some hanging system on there, and he spent seven hours trying to configure it. And then a first for Sorica to hang this show, a show like this. So we were just figuring stuff out as we went along. And um, I'm wearing a pretty dress as if, oh, it was just, just lovely. <laughs> but actually there were many like, <gasps> moments where I was just freaking out, melting down, all that kind of stuff. But uh, <laughs> I could call Tammy and I said, what? And she do, mm. and she was, she's like, a, I call her my little Buddha. That's yeah, so it's Tammy, she's my little Buddha. But um, thank you, Tammy, for entrusting me with your vision. And um, the students that I got to work with, oh, big hearts, um, fierce hearts. And, and um, when they first gave me that, table full of ideas on, on no papers, I was just like freaking out. And so that's why I said, okay, let's make it a little wider than we originally agreed. And then I started getting to work and I didn't know how to put a hundred ideas into a mural. And so, uh, and then even I would put all the ideas on, but once they saw it up, you know, in Procreate, I would make the, the design in Procreate, be like, no, we don't want that, we want that. And then the Akamai tribe, uh, council uh, members came and said, we'd like to suggest Worth it. Right behind you. Bridge of the Gods. And I'm like, what? I thought it was just a bridge. And so I learned so much about the area. And um, and so this went in over top of uh, our token white dude mountain biker. <laughs> so he's not here anymore. But I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Um, also the salmon, I had them painted a different way and they thought it was just a little too north coast um, because we don't want to plagiarize the art of the native tri the tribes of the north coast, which is where I'm from. And uh, so I changed them out a little bit and so, uh, and then they gave the blessing um, for the, uh, the figure who's doing a smudging, which is sort of like meant to give like a healing quality to the mural as she blows, you know, like a pur purifying, uh, Usually it's sage. And then these are all the basket weavings from, I forget the name of the book. Do you know the name of the book, Sorica? Um, Columbia River it, it, back, back Mary, Schlick's Mary Schlick's yeah. book, Mary yeah. And yeah, so I am making a half hour documentary right now and my computer is crashing. So I have to go to Portland tomorrow and <laughs> get a new computer uh, so I can finish it. And so I'll, I'll share it with you and then I'll be able to elaborate on more stories that unfolded and Sorica's interviewing me, and she's gracious and elegant as always. And so thank you, Sorica, for this opportunity to, for us to see it up close for a whole month. And uh, so very grateful, and thank you for calling for your blessing and for everybody that helped. And Nina is going to, and Leanna's here. Okay, so Leanna, she's the one that, I bumped into her at a um, art, artist workshop in Whidbey Island. And she said, you've got what it takes to be a teacher. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Just come to my studio for free. And so I would, and she gave me everything. And, and she's also uh, amazing at helping artists through challenges with designs. So you could send her, I, I would send her like compositions, maybe half done, I'm like, something's wrong here. She'd go, ding, 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 ding. I'm like, yes. So she's magic and I'm so glad you're here. And, and then everybody, you're all here, I'm just like, I'm so grateful. So, flowers for you, dear Tammy. And I've got a vase underneath the table, so you can keep it in water for the trip home. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can you hold the phone from Torica so that she can receive her flowers? Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Aww. Thank you. with random drawings on it.
of them trying to get their, Amir and Malak, trying to help them walk through the process of getting what they feel onto a piece of paper and the hard work that you did at um, connecting with Ms. Yakima is a very important part of the mural. Um, we have a Yakima Nation student, Caleb Cloud Looney, who, who had an opinion about what Michelle had before, and so she went the extra mile, 10 miles, to make sure that this image was um, re uh, respectful of our local tribes. And then it was also really important to our native students and our liaison, Lucille Begay, who lives in the Salivo Village, that we have a Mount Hood and Mount Adams book ending the mural because our Yakima Nation um, students connect more with Mount Adams than they do with Mount Hood, although the River Valley High School very much connects with Mount Hood. And so, um, you were able to, at the very last minute, always to bounce back, be flexible, and say, yep, it's okay, I can do it. She would come to my office in office when it was crazy and was always had such a beautiful attitude. And um, you made the students feel heard, and you created this out of all of their, <laughs> you know, all the scribbles that they had in the air. She brought them down and did this. None of this would have been possible without everybody's help and I'm so thankful for all of you. Thank you.